Christopher, Salop Design is a multidisciplinary engineering company based in the West Midlands. What does digitisation mean to a metal basher from Wolverhampton like you? Well, metal basher, that, that's exactly what we're trying to break down. We, we are making metal parts, but we're not a metal basher anymore. We use CAD design, we have TS standards. We are much more than a metal basher. Digitisation and Industry 4.0 really needs to connect with SMEs. I see lots of OEMs and first tiers involved, but what we need is more engagement with SMEs because that's where the growth will come from in this country. Can you give me an example of where digitisation can be relevant and should be relevant to SMEs such as Salop? Yeah, we need to look at connectivity. We need to look at, for example, for Salop, we have two big air compressors. We need to understand how they're working, how the filters are working and whether we can actually stop problems occurring. Uh, if our compressors go down, our factory stops. So it's that connectivity, it's feeding that information back to the managers on the shop floor so they have real-time information of what's going on with our machines. Now, Salop is involved with three other local businesses to build the Marches Manufacturing Technology Centre. Can you talk a bit about that and also why digitisation and digital training is relevant to that centre? Yeah, we, we're involved in that because we're convinced that we're going to close the skills gap. The only way we can grow our business is have new people coming through with the right skills. Now if you look at the next generation of engineers, they need to understand what manufacturing is going to be. It's going to be a lot of technology, there's going to be a lot of design done on computers, a lot of production done on computers with 3D printing for example. We need to be training the next generation of engineers on that digitisation and that technology now rather than waiting for them to come into our country. So we are getting involved in schools and we're trying to push teachers and the education department to give us the employers and the employees of the future that we need. And, and just finally, the, the, the model you've developed with the Marches Centre is, is a sort of classic or uh, archetypal LEP model, isn't it? it? It's really private businesses coming together and doing it for yourselves. Well it is, we answered the call from the government which started a couple of years ago saying, look, business needs to take the lead in training provision we knew exactly what skills we need, so the government said, well, here you go, here's the apprenticeship levy, you take control. So with Salop Design in 2015, we opened an apprentice training centre. We took control because we funded it. We put a business uh, training provider in there, income training, and we are now training the engineers of the future, and we are helping scope exactly what we need as a business, and the training provider is delivering. My name is Matthew Snelson, I'm the Managing Director for the Marches Centre of Manufacturing and Technology based in Bridgenorth, also I'm Systems Director at Granger & Wattle. I just want to tell you about the training facility we're setting up. It's a £4 million engineering and technology school. It's all focused around technologies that we use in our businesses today. It's industry led and we've got four partners in the consortium. That's Granger & Wattle, Salop Design and Engineering, Income Training Services and Classic Motorcars. We're supported by the Local Enterprise Partnership in the Marches and they're putting in about £2 million of growth deal funding. We've also managed to get some funding through the Redundant Buildings Grants and we're very fortunate to have a lot of sponsor companies, the likes of Hexagon Metrology, Engineering Technology Group, Zwick Roll, Mechatronics, Filter Mist, some really big names who are supporting us. Why are they supporting us? It's because they all recognise that without doing something like this, then we're not going to be able to flood the base with engineers that we need in our businesses. We all know that we've got a gap within the marketplace for engineering. If we don't do something different, then basically we'll falter in our growth. The SMEs and the micro businesses won't be able to grow. So we need to get on board, employ apprentices, upskill your own workforce, get behind the project. So Robert, with um, the suite of digital tools that now people associate with the fourth industrial revolution, how are they as, as relevant to a company like Salop Design as they are to Rolls-Royce? So I think everybody now is hearing the terms Industry 4.0, the convergence of cyber physical systems, and it is real, it is happening. But people do wonder how does it affect the entire supply chain and how does it affect the smaller to medium business when most of the news that you hear is more about the large OEMs and big industrial organisations. So we're here at Salop, we've walked around the shop floor, and as you're doing that you hear and see areas that can definitely benefit and are benefiting from digital approaches. You hear talk of things like thermal distortion, thermal stress, and now the company is setting up its own CAD training systems and simulation and advanced technologies are the next step in that journey as we create the digital thread throughout the supply chain that goes from the atom to the aeroplane.